Hey there, everybody. <clears throat> Montgomery Collections here. Some time ago, I posted a Japanese children's training bayonet. And uh, it, the one that I used to have wasn't in fantastic condition. That was the one I used in the video. The blade was really pitted. It almost looked repaired. And uh, it also did not have the scabbard for it. <clears throat> well, it turns out... Uh, one popped up on eBay a few months back, and it was in fantastic condition, and I was lucky enough to be able to win that bid. So I turned around, sold the old one, and put the money towards the new one, and here it is. And it does have a scabbard, and the blade is in great condition, as you can see. Um, but what I did find was interesting is that in my last video, when I explain everything, I'm pretty sure I probably said something about how, uh, since this is like the third variation that's made of all metal, uh, not all of them were made exactly the same. <clears throat> and that appears true, because this one seems to have a thicker uh, quillen on it. Uh, the the grip feels totally different. The last, the grip on the last one I had was nice and polished and shiny. Uh, that doesn't really mean anything, but the, the grips are basically just deeper. The checkering is deeper. And um, pretty sure that's about it for the differences. Oh, the, uh, the leaf spring was a little easier to operate too. This one's a little tough. But Either way, as you can see, this one's in much better condition. Uh, I wanted to show it off, and I wanted to show you guys what the scabbard looks like for this. A little bit of a, a little bit of an odd one, but still kind of cool. And I believe that that goes with just a regular Type 30 uh, frog. So uh, that is my new 7 8 size. Japanese children's training bayonet for the 7 8 size training Arisaka rifle.